Hey, Doug. My wife has one of those brooms. That's her second car. <laughs> All right. Overcast day today, chance of rain. Going to uh, ride towards Kitchener and meet up with my buddy Doug Bennett and talk about wrapping his Yamaha Viper snowmobile. It's kind of funny today, we're both looking at the weather going, well, should we ride? Looks like rain. And I said, you know what, I got a Yamaha. It doesn't care about the weather. He's a big Yamaha guy. And he goes, I do too, LOL. And then he says, but I don't have any rain gear. So I says, neither do I. And <laughs> we both kind of felt it was a good idea. And uh, here we are. You know, so <laughs> we'll see what happens. I think we got about an hour of uh, overcast like this. There's a little blip of rain showing on the radar and then it's clear until about noon. Oh God, you gotta love it. I've been trying to ride with this guy all winter on the snowmobiles and it never worked out. So what the hell, you gotta get a motorcycle to actually ride with anybody. It's kind of like when George and I were ATV and we first met and we talked up a storm and how great it would be to ride and uh, you know, the uh, <laughs> never even got out. I want to say it was two years before George and I hit the trails on the quads. We actually snowmobile before we actually ATV'd together. So here we go. Doug and I are gonna ride together on the bikes before we snowmobile together. So hopefully that'll change. As you can see I still haven't fixed my speedometer. The cable's on back order. So I'm just kind of trusting what this guy's doing in front of me is okay. There he is, right there. What size is that, 1100? Yeah. Yeah, nice. I probably should have got an 18. I'm, I'm a big guy. Yeah. But it still goes. You fit good on it though. Yeah, it's not that. I had to get this one because all the other ones, look, I look really stupid. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. You see that a lot, right? I want those handlebars on here. Yeah. That's, that's pretty sweet. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, so we're just gonna go up and uh, figure out where to go once we get up to the end of Trussell Road. So once we figure all that out, I'll turn the camera back on. There isn't a whole lot to see around here, but we might be able to film some stupidity in the uh, roundabouts that are coming up. We'll see.
can't even hear this thing over, over that bike. <laughs> oh, this thing's too quiet. Love it. All right, this is Trussell Road turns into Iron Needles Boulevard here. And this is what one of the local radio DJs calls Iron Needles Hellevard. Because it's uh, roundabout after roundabout after roundabout and people have no clue how to drive them. You do not need to stop. Look at this one's got the left turn signal on right here. You do not need to signal here, and you'll be going right out of the roundabout, not left. I had a, I got a photo, I'll see if I can find of a CRV come down this side. Look at that, she had a left turn signal on, and she fucking didn't even turn. She went straight. So, case in point, there's even worse. Anyway, what was I saying? Look at this, left turn signal on again. It's pretty simple, really. Pretty simple. <laughs> I don't know. Well, keep rolling here. You never know what stupid, stupidity, stupidity? Idiocracy? <laughs> Are those words? I don't know. Stupidity. In the city. You really got to watch these guys too, because sometimes they need that other lane, so we'll give him two lanes. I don't want to be sandwiched between a trailer and a tractor anytime soon. Now that's a great video, eh? Wall of black. At least put a picture on there or something we can look at. Oh, he's gonna stop too. See, pace yourself, have a look. Look for the opening, you don't need to stop. That guy should have been in the right lane going around there. I didn't realize I was doing a tutorial on how to drive a traffic circle. People need it though, good lord. Never fear, fears, I wanna to talk to him and we never get a red light. Never get a red light. That sounds good. Yeah, this one red. Shit, nine seconds before it even goes orange. I don't know where we are. This is good though. No, oh, I do know where we are, but don't know where we're going. Herbsville. Herbsville Cartway used to have the fastest go-karts around. We, re we wreaked havoc there one time when we were young. Driving over tires and off the track and my buddy Keith Pullen broke his tailbone. Literally broke his tailbone where your tail would come out of your body if you're still a monkey. And uh, had to sit on a donut for weeks because you, you can't cast that part. So here, we'll pull over here and see what's going on here.
I wanted a red light to talk to you. Whenever you need it, it's like when you get trying to find a place and you're looking on a map and the lights never go red. Yeah. You can drive that in your car with nothing to do and hit everything red. So we're coming up to uh, St. Well, North Waterloo or St. Jacobs area. This is where the uh, weekly stockyards are held Thursdays. Actually, that's today. Ha! Maybe we'll see something here. So every, I think it's every Thursday, farmers come here from all around the area and they trade cattle and livestock and there's a market to buy shit at, like fake tag watches and all kinds of crap. Great little outlet store here. I, think, I believe there's Reebok and Nike outlets in there. Yeah, it's a neat little place. There's a stockyard straight ahead, farmer's market. I don't know whether it's free to get in or, or what the case is, you know? You got Kitchener's Finest there looking out for everybody. But you can see there's vendors all set up in there. There's food, like food is probably the biggest thing that people love going for. Looks like there's antiques over there. But uh, a few years ago there was a huge fire. And that building there, I believe it was, the red building, burnt down. But yeah, there's more vendors there too. Definitely worth checking out. Thursdays in Kitchener, yeah. I'm gonna boot in here and see what's going on here. This is a way to see it though, is by motorcycle. But this is typical, eh? Look at the vegetables and fruits and all local produce grown. Like you can't get more better than this. More better. Bag of nuts. Look at that, bring your pets too. You'll love that. totally forget this is here. This is the thing, eh? It's in your backyard and you take it for granted. <laughs> I guess I was in the wrong lane. Dumbass. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah, you gotta love it, huh? I'll just scoot through here. I'll get the right away. I'm on a bike. Leave me alone filming too so shut up yeah it's pretty awesome you know if you're gonna get smucked by a car in the parking lot this might be the place but yeah I don't know hundreds of vendors you can see still tents hey for miles but like I said you can get everything there's crafts and fake watches and <laughs> straw hats Look at dresses there, skirts. Oh, and wind chimes. It's a little bit of everything. This is like, you know, you, you see markets up north, farmers markets, but this these guys have been doing this for years, decades. And then the barns are where, that red barn is where they do auctions. So you can go in there and buy a cow if you're, if it tickles your fancy or a herd. Live edge wood there, raw. But you know, like that's a thing. The uh... might be tough to get a cow or a couple of cows on the back of these bikes. Who knows? We can try it though. 
Peaches seem to be the flavor of the day. Yeah, <laughs> it's tempting, isn't it? <laughs> the cops were over there, not here. We're good, go. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, the things you get, you could get into trouble on a bike in here fast. Hey Doug, my wife has one of those brooms, that's her second car. <laughs> She's going to kill me for that. So check out the Kitchener's Farmer's Market. You don't have to be a farmer. Unless you want to buy a cow. Or they might want to at least see how big your apartment is anyway. Look at the vendors in there, jewelry and everything. Plug in here. Friend, oh, I don't want to scare the horse. Oh, yeah, it's right, too, eh? The horses wouldn't hear this. Kind of a neat way to travel, though. You should see some of them at night are all lit up. They got LEDs in there. No, no power except small batteries. And they're lit up like a custom cruiser for crying out loud. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. neat to see that people still live like that, you know? All self-sufficient. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, like that thing I was just saying on my vlog that the, the farmer's market's here every Thursday. I'm going, it's Thursday. Yeah. You know? I was just thinking that. I got to bring my son down here when I don't have to work until noon. Yeah, no kidding, right? And you know what? Like, I forgot about the vendors and everything, right? Like, God, we used to come here with my mom as a kid and what a riot. Yeah, I've been here since, like Lisa and I have come. But, uh, no, you can't beat that. Stalled it. Heading home. Mirrors up.
torque monkey. Burning Bush Road. <laughs> Insert dirty comment here. Beautiful countryside. This is coming up to Wellesley, one of my favorite areas of snowmobile when this stuff's open. Are you going straight? Yeah. yeah. Here we go. Hee hee! This is where we shine. That's what I like about the dual sport, right here. Varying road conditions, not a problem. There's a sled trail right through there. There's a staging area right there. You want, I'll just go from here. Are you gonna go? Yeah. Okay. okay, take care, man. Good. We beat the rain. Yeah, yeah. Okay. do that. <laughs>